Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time I'm going to be talking about the calvaria. And what is the calvaria? This is basically the top portion of your skull that has the shape of a helmet as you can see here on both of these images. And we're just going to look at the different structures that we can find on the calvaria. Now on the right side we're looking at the superior view of the calvaria while on the left side you can see the inferior view if we were looking from below. Now notice that on the superior part of the calvaria this structure is generally smooth with a few structures interrupting the smooth landscape such as sutures and foramina which we will talk about later on. From the superior and inferior view, views, we're going to see four bones specifically, and they're connected to their adjacent bones via sutures that we're also going to cover. But these four bones are the frontal bone, the two parietal bones, and the occipital bone. Now let's start by covering the bones then and starting off this one highlighted in green and looking at the superior view of the frontal bone. And the frontal bone is one of the bones of the neurocranium which encloses or the part of the skull that encloses the brain. And this bone consists of three parts as well that we can define here, the squamous part which encompasses the area of the forehead. Another one is going to be the orbital part, which you cannot see from these views from the calvaria, but I'm just writing them down. So every time you hear about the frontal bone, you think about these parts for your next exam. And the next one is going to be the nasal part, which we cannot also see clearly from the calvaria. So here we can mainly see the squamous part, which is the area that forms or defines your forehead. Now we're going to briefly talk about the squamous part of the frontal bone, where, which we're now looking at a sagittal cut here of the skull. And the squamous part of the frontal bone comprises the frontal sinuses, which are located superior to the orbit on the mesial side and are separated by a septum. But on another tutorial, I want to take some time to talk about the different frontal sinuses and where they're located precisely. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the squamous part of the frontal bone and also a bit of knowledge here that is important to, to know. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.